Welcome to A Pen and a Plan. I am super excited about this video today. Um, I have had a lot of questions about my Passion Planner Daily. Um, and I love my Passion Planner Daily. And one of the things that I love about it is that I was able to print the PDF that they offer for free and make it my own and so I hope that this video will help you out. I'm gonna go over supplies and how to print and what the finished look looks like so I'm really excited to teach you how to do this and yeah, so let's get started and show you this process. This is my Dustbound Passion Planner Daily and I absolutely love it. Like. A lot. <laughs> um, I was surprised at how much I love it but uh, one of the things that I love is that it's a full page and so that's what I'm gonna show you how to print and make your own today. So uh, to make your own these are the supplies that you're going to need. So the first supply that you're going to need is paper. So the paper that I use is HP brand, premium 32, um, just standard 8.5 by 11, and I use 32 pound weight paper. This is a full ream of paper that I got for about $20 from Staples. And you can also buy 32 pound paper off of Amazon and probably any standard office store. Um, and you can either print it, you can either buy the ream and give it to the office people to print the Passion Planner daily for you, or you can print it off at home, which is what I'm going to show you how to do today. The next thing you're going to need is an arc punch. So the one that I have is the pink, uh, big, happy planner punch. And so this has enough arc punches for 11, this and one thing that I love about this punch in particular is that it has lines for like where to line up your paper so this is for the medium um, size planners and this one's for a standard eight and a half by 11 paper so I can literally print anything and punch anything with this punch which is super awesome um, it does say max three sheets, but you'll get comfortable with your punch. So I highly recommend um, this. They do. The third important supply that you're going to need for making your own disc bound planner is the disc. And I also have a detailed pictures and measurements of these discs in my Instagram story highlights. So I'll also link my Instagram below so you can check that out. Expander disc is their biggest one. And then the classic size, medium size is this one so if i lay it on top that's for size comparison for you and then the um mini size is this one these are the different disc sizes that you're you have options for and again they come in plastic or metal um and then a daily will fit like one three months worth of a daily will fit just fine on a mini set of rings um, but if you want to have extra note paper or other parts of planners or notes or whatever you want with that you might want to look into getting the medium or expander size because then you can have thicker books so one of my favorite easy routes to go for a cover for the disc bound system is to repurpose the already made out there covers for the happy planners slash happy notes. So this one is called the big and it has 11 discs but I personally and highly recommend just grabbing a happy planner notes and finding one that you like because it comes with note paper, it comes with mini discs and it comes with a cute cover and dividers and so that is totally worth the money and would will make this project so much easier so in review so the four things that you're going to need to 
make your own disbound passion planner daily is 32 pound weight paper a big happy planner punch or any kind of arc punch a happy notes big size or 11 discs in mini in mini medium or expander size depending on what you're looking to add with it and something to use for a cover and if you have any questions about the supplies feel free to leave it down below and let's check out the next step which is going to be downloading the free PDF off passionplanner.com Okay, so when you get to your computer, you're going to go to passionplanner.com and you're going to go to the top of the screen and select free downloads. And there are a ton of different options that you can choose from. So we're going to go to the full PDF of the Passion Planner Daily and we're going to download it. Now I'm already logged into my account. Um, but if you, this is your first time downloading their free downloads, you will have to put your email in and then you'll be able to download the free PDF, no problem. So you're going to select the regular or double-sided format to download and print. Now, there is a slight difference between both of those options. We are going to print double-sided, but we are going to want to select the regular print format in order to print it the way that my Passion Planner Daily is set up. Let me show you the difference here. So, this is what the regular Passion Planner Daily looks like. At the front of the Passion Planner Daily is this really cool year in review. So, the pages are going to be side-by-side, and it's going to just be the solid pages all running together. But if you select the double side option, this is what happens to the pages. So it's um, like you're printing a book and so the pages end up splitting instead of running together and so you're going to end up with mixed up pages. So to print the Passion Planner daily, to look like mine that you've seen on Instagram and that I showed you at the start of this video, you are going to want to select regular um, so that way your pages are all together and they don't split because we are not binding our page down the middle of the page, we are binding our page along the top. So you're going to download the regular size and so when you click download, make sure that the pop-ups are not blocked on your computer. Mine are okayed for passionplanner.com already. For keeping um, it simple, I'm just going to show you how to print the day page. Um, but this is going to be how you're going to print the whole book. And if you have any questions, I will gladly answer them. So feel free to leave them in the comments below or message me. So now that we have it downloaded and we're ready to print, you don't have to change any of your printer settings separately in this. You are just going to have to make sure that when we open the print box that our printer settings are good to go. In this case, I'm just going to right click and select print and then the Chrome print box loads. So like I said, in this case, we're only going to print the day page so that way I'm not printing the whole book at the moment. So um, I have a Canon inkjet and those are all the bajillion letters that go with the printer. This is how I s send my PDFs to the printer from Chrome on Windows 10. So first I'm going to select custom pages and I'm going to just randomly select two pages and they are both daily sheets which is perfect 
So we are going to select that. <clears throat> just those two pages of print. I just want one copy right now and I just want it in black and white. We're going to open the more settings to confirm that we do want it in letter size. We don't want the page to shrink. Um, one page per sheet. I never change the quality because that's too complicated. Um, <laughs> then um, the scale. So these are the three options that I have. So I always just do fit to page. Um, if we do default, see how it goes edge to edge. Now you can select that, um, but then when you go to punch it, you're going to end up punching into the uh, what's printed on the page and you're going to want to make sure that you do fit to page because see how that left that extra room along the edges? So that's exactly what you want. So make sure that this says fit to page and then we do want it two sided so we're going to print on both sides. And this is where you have the option to select print on, to flip on the long edge or to flip on the short edge. And so I'm going to show you what the difference is. So this is what the difference is between the short edge and the long edge print. So the long edge is going to print like so. So when you have it punched along the top, when you flip it, it's going to look exactly the same. Um, now it'll sit in your book so that way it's like one on top of the other. Now if you print short edge, and this is probably more a personal preference, um, but this is the short edge. So if you have it printed and the you have it bound along the top. When you flip, it's going to be upside down. So for me personally, I liked the long edge option because when I would flip my book, it was always the same direction instead of having to rotate my book all the time. Now this is perfect. Flipping on the short edge is perfect if you want to make a book because see when you um, when you turn the page, it's exactly like a book. So that's short edge. You are going to want to make sure that you select long edge. So just a quick review, you're just going to select all the pages or if you just want the daily page, you can custom the page, black and white. Make sure that it's letter size because that's full size page, eight and a half by 11. Make sure that your scale is fit to page so that way you have the little bit of extra margin along the top for the disc punch. And then you're going to flip on the long edge so that way your pages go the same direction. And then after you have all of that ready to go, then you're gonna go ahead and print. We are Now that we have pages of our daily printed, we are going to get the pages punched. So this is one 32 pound paper and I printed it double sided on the long edge so that way it'll flip correctly. So it doesn't matter what side I punch it on um, because it's going to look exactly the same on all the pages. So I'm, I'm going to punch along the top so that way I have the full page to use how I want. Okay, so here is my punched and printed Passion Planner Daily, and here is my Happy Planner Notes. So we're going to go ahead and open it up to the note section that still needs to be switched to the Passion Planner Daily. So this is one of the dividers that came with it, and then here's the notebook paper that came with it as well. So I'm just going to tear it out. <laughs> So now my Passion Planner Daily is in a big happy notes and ready to use the way that I like it. 
Thank you for joining me today. I had so much fun showing you how to make the Passion Planner daily. Uh, disbound in the style that I like it and I have found super functional and easy to use and I just love it so much <laughs> um, so I really hope you found this video helpful for you and I will leave all the links that you need to um, have the supplies um, or extra resources on how to do certain things or like the disc sizes and things like that. I will leave all of that in the description below. Feel free to uh, ask any questions or have any suggestions, leave them down below. And like and share and this video and subscribe to my channel and thanks for being here. glad you're here today. Today we're going to um, <laughs> so that's pretty awesome. <laughs> um, talk to you guys later. Pen and a plan and